The word for the day is rail, as in high speed rail, as in what kind of an idiot is Rick Scott that he doesn't accept the money to pay for high speed rail in Florida. Um, Rick Scott fans, how you feeling these days? How you feeling about that vote and what great things it's doing for our state? Like uh, the getting rid of the possibility of building what would be one of the most useful and um, important developments in the infrastructure of the state in, what, 50 years, 60 years? Um, the future of transportation is high-speed rail. It's a huge boon for jobs in the state. Um, in terms of bringing people in and uh, 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 giving jobs to people who build the rail, giving jobs to people who run it and manage the companies and all of that stuff. But also, it greatly expands the job um, possibilities for people who live along that rail corridor. Um, you know, if you're someone who lives in an area where there aren't that many jobs, but it's a 30 minute rail ride to a better place for your job market, then you're able to have much better chance of getting a job. And so Rick Scott is one of these kind of, uh, well, I, I guess he has two problems that come into play here with this pro, uh, this particular issue. One is that because of his background and his total lack of ever having to do anything that benefits people other than his, himself and his shareholders, he has no real connection to what it is that needs to be done to help the people of the state of Florida. Um, and he has no idea what it takes to run an effective government. And on the second measure, he's bought into this kind of nonsensical right-wing ideology that's completely been debunked, that somehow all government is bad, and that anything that has government involved with it is a boondoggle or is somehow going to hurt the state. That's not true. It's not true in this case at all, and it's not true in most of the cases when people like Rick Scott or Marco Rubio or Mike Herodopoulos or Dean Cannon say these type of things. They're almost always full of shit, um, and provably so. And this is one of those cases that um, Rick Scott's supposed to bring 700,000 jobs to the state of Florida in the next seven years. Um, and at the rate he's going, firing state workers and, uh, you know, passing or pushing for things that are going to scare state workers off um, and, you know, canceling things like the high-speed rail, there's no possible chance of him ever getting to that number in any kind of net category. Um, even if the economy nationally turns around at a great pace and really starts moving along, the policies that Rick Scott's pursuing are still going to make it impossible for him to ever get anywhere near that number even in jobs produced, much less in a net category, which is just is a, is a pipe dream um, that you would really need to be smoking some really, really intense stuff to believe. So um, I hope uh, our proposed recall provision goes through um, and that we have some actual ability to do something about people who um, mislead so much when they're a candidate and, and run such an incompetent administration even in a short amount of time that he's already been in office.